Anti-gay groups are getting desperate with one candidate for governor comparing marriage equality to murder. An Alabama scheme to slip a marriage ban into the U.S. Constitution is moving ahead despite being pretty much guaranteed to fail. A judge in Ohio rules that marriage equality isn't just for dead people anymore. Plus, a major marriage victory gets put to the test in Utah this week. We'll have all the details. For the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to Marriage News Watch for April 7, 2014. We're just one month away from the hearing in AFER's Virginia case, and support for marriage equality in the state is steadily on the rise. A new Quinnipiac poll shows support at 50 to 42 percent, a complete reversal from the same survey just two years ago. Last week, we got a glimpse into the arguments that our opponents will use in court with a new brief from attorney David B. Oakley. He claims that marriage equality could open the door to marrying relatives. And that's not even the most outlandish statements that our opponents made last week. Lorraine May Rafferty, a candidate for governor in Oregon, says that she opposes the freedom to marry because it is, quote, just the same as murder. Of course, anyone can make these kinds of crazy statements, but they'll have a much harder time proving it where it really counts, in court. The next big legal hurdle for marriage equality is coming this Thursday in Utah. A panel of three judges will hear arguments in the appeal of a marriage equality victory from a few months ago, and will have another hearing next week in the Oklahoma case. Ohio got a major marriage victory last week with a judge announcing that he'll order the state to uh, recognize all benefits associated with out-of-state marriage licenses. Previously, the state was only required to recognize marriages for the purposes of death certificates. In Alabama, the House of Representatives has passed a resolution in support of amending the U.S. Constitution to ban marriage equality. That has approximately zero chance of actually happening, of course. Anti-gay activists tried passing a federal ban about a decade ago and couldn't make it happen even after President Bush endorsed it. Passing the resolution now in Alabama is just a symbolic anti-gay gesture and a waste of everyone's time. There's two new lawsuits in Florida. Aaron Huntsman and William Lee Jones have been together 11 years and are suing the state for the freedom to marry. Filing a separate suit are Stephen Schlaret and Ozzie Russ of Chipley, Florida. These are the third and fourth marriage lawsuits in the state. And we may see a new lawsuit soon in Nebraska. Lesbian couple Margie and Bonnie Nichols have filed for divorce in the state, but a district court ruled that the state couldn't dissolve a marriage that it doesn't recognize. The case is now moving to the state Supreme Court, but ultimately could require additional litigation to overturn the state's ban. And finally this week, a new study shows that marriage equality would bring $50 million to the economy of Colorado. The state's currently in the midst of a public education campaign, and there are two separate lawsuits working their way through the courts. Public support is currently at 56 to 36 percent. Those are the headlines. Subscribe here on YouTube to stay up to date on all these stories. For the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.